you very much. Let's just take you uh, live to Cape Canaveral in Florida where we can see uh, some of the uh, seven-man crew on Discovery just coming out of the shuttle now. They touched down about 45 minutes ago, an hour ago, but uh, some of the astronauts, some of the seven-man crew now are coming out of, out of the craft itself, this including the Space Center, the shuttle landing Dr. Nicholas Patrick, the British-born astronaut from Saltburn now, and Teesside, uh, the uh, who made his debut space flight. And, uh, the his job to operate the robotic arms used to inspect the, the shuttle. As well. The so crew up there, of course, well, to rewire the, the International Space Station. Uh, crew hatch was opened up about uh, 25 minutes or so after touchdown and and uh, uh, the landing occurred just uh, less than an hour ago so uh, they're right on schedule now for having the entire crew uh, off the vehicle. Uh, we've been tracking these activities in, at Kennedy Space Center from firing room 3 of the uh, launch control center uh, currently monitoring uh, the landing and recovery director is currently monitoring ap activities with the uh, convoy uh, and personnel at the shuttle landing facility as they continue to make sure the vehicle is safe after landing and making preparations uh, to tow it to the orbiter processing facility. Atlantis, excuse me, Discovery has uh, been in space for the past 13 days and its next mission is scheduled to be STS-122 which will launch uh, at this point in October of next year. It is amazing when you think that uh, these shuttle flights have been going for 26 years now. It's still as dramatic as ever seeing Discovery glide down from space after a journey of more than 5 million miles, 5.3 million miles. This is the live scene here. I think we've got some of the uh, some pictures just to show you when Discovery did uh, touch down, though. I think we can. Uh, bring some of those pictures uh, to you now. Perfect lie down, but you see just how quickly the shuttles descend thousands of feet. I think we can bring you those pictures now from uh, about 45 minutes ago. Let's just to see so we'll that now. We'll be for that as we continue to monitor the uh, safing operations and activities at the shuttle landing facility. Just a little bit about the SLF. It was built back in 1975. It's uh, 300 feet wide and 15,000 feet long. The strip runs northwest to southeast. Well, this was the uh, scene 45 minutes ago in C Cape Canaveral. Been some problems with the weather there, and uh, it was uncertain. It was touch and go whether Discovery would be able to touch down here. They were also preparing. Uh, California and also a site in New Mexico which hasn't been used for a long time but uh, in the end there was a window and Discovery touched down about 45 minutes ago the sky is grey but the weather good enough for shuttle commander Mark Polanski at the Kennedy Space Center to touch down completing 204 orbits traveling 5.3 million miles Discovery completing its 33rd mission and it's seventh to the International Space Station. 13-day mission, as we were hearing from the NASA spokesman a, a few moments ago, but uh, this was the crew in action, rewiring the International Space Station, a complex job. In fact, uh, when Discovery touched down, NASA pointed out that uh, this was probably the most complex assembly mission to date. NASA are under a deadline to finish building the International Space Station by 2010 when the uh, shuttle fleet is due to be retired. Uh, and at least 13 more missions are needed to finish the assembly of the International Space Station. This is the live uh, scene now at Cape Canaveral. NASA's next flight, scheduled for March, that's on board the shuttle Atlantis, which is expected to deliver a third set of uh, power-producing solar wing panels. 
So is everything station. going fine and on schedule? We'll be everything fine, the as uh, the spokesman, NASA spokesman now. is saying there. That is the scene live at the Kennedy uh, Space Center in Florida. Everyone safely back on Earth in time for Christmas. Let's uh, have a look at uh, some of the first editions of the morning papers now.